What's up, everybody? I'm Northern Beard. And I am the Mightiest Beard. And we're bringing you another episode of Beardlefield. Beardlefield is a series where Northern Beard and myself try to tactically play some Battlefield 3 while we review a craft beer. Yeah, so we're going to dump you over to in-game comms now, guys. Enjoy the episode. Cheers. Jesus. What's going on, Will? Oh, not much. Just getting uh, rolled a little bit here on Sane Crossing. Nice. How's your uh, how's your day going? Glorious. Ready for a, uh, a cold alcoholic beverage. Nice. Mirror oh, that statement. I'm gonna try to get in here to A and try to defuse this. Nope. I'm getting lit. Yeah, we're not fully not uh, defusing that, but we can at least uh, do some damage to their team. Yeah. All right. What uh, what beer are we drinking tonight, Mr. Northern? Tonight we are gonna pick up another lovely brew from the Dogfish Head Brewery. This one is going to be their 90 Minute Imperial IPA. Yeah. yeah Something that we've had before. Really good. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've, we've we both had this beer a time or two in our days, and um, actually a good friend, a mutual friend of ours, who uh, tunes into the show. Um, introduced me to this to this beverage uh, on a camping trip uh, on, a, on, a, last... on a very straight camping trip. Yeah, that's right. Very uh, two, hetero. two very straight men. One guy married, the other guy uh, single. I was not the married guy. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. He introduced me to it, and uh, delicious, delicious beverage. Um, yeah, this is this is one big, pretty favorite uh, IPA of mine. Yeah, not now my number one, but it's a good one. You're pretty familiar with with some of the the love that goes into this kind of brew. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, really, the love that goes into every dogfish brew, because um, they're they're real. Or you know, Sam Calagione, the owner, founder, and operator of uh, Dogfish Heads, is he's you know he's you know iconic um, for just for everything he does. So what he did for his 90 minute IPA or 60 minute, 90 minute, 75 minute, and 120 minute. Uh, what he does is he adds the hops continually instead of big chunks. So, like, usually you'll see hop additions at, like, it, it goes in during the boil. So there's usually, a, you know, roughly a 60-minute boil. And you'll see hop additions at, like, 15 minutes and 30 minutes and 45 minutes and 5 minutes from the end of the boil. Each different for uh, for flavoring and for bittering and, you know, all that, you know, uh, beer nerd stuff. So what Sam did was he decided to take a more like a like a baking type approach where you add ingredients kind of continually but not in big chunks so that's where the 60 minute 90 minute that's where they get their numbers from so they add hops continually for 90 minutes so as you you can probably imagine 90 minutes of continually adding hops which is the bittering and flavoring agent uh in the beer you can imagine it's gonna be a pretty freaking hoppy beer just like uh yeah. like you know you expect ipas to be but this is uh it takes IPA to the next level. This is this is most definitely a next level IPA. Where the fuck are you? I see you. Oh, how'd that guy not die? Yeah. Um. Oop. I'm. I see you. <clears throat> There's a guy like right on my body. He's got 26 percent. Oh, he's down. Okay. So, uh, what do you got on the appearance on this one, Northern? Uh, after the pour, I got about a finger and a half, maybe two, uh, about a finger and a half that I'll settle with. Uh, whole, or head on this one, definitely a little frothy, milky white. Um, we got a nice, uh, probably an orange-ish, uh, yeah, orange clear, clear, no cloud or anything like that. Yeah. Um, golden, golden, uh, pour. Yeah, really very solid. orange, very orange. Um, oh, oh okay. down. yeah! Okay. So it's gonna spawn on you. They're they're all over that that plant. That was a that's a that's a bad beacon. Yeah, I don't I don't like that one being down there. I feel like it's incredibly tough to. I think it's too easy to break and really hard to hold. Yeah. Well, we got it anyway. Oh wow. Yeah, this is really it's a really nice like kind of crisp looking beer. Yeah, I was gonna say the crisp crisp you know a little bit of carbonation. It's very light, very faint. You know, just a little. A little trickling up the up and down, or not not down at all, but just up the sides. But yeah, I, I go with a clear golden orange. Um, 
What about, what about you? What are you what are you seeing on it? A lot of the same? Yeah, a lot of the same. I got a little bit more of a head on it than, than you did, but that's probably just the poor god damn it. Uh there's maybe a little bit more aggressive on the pour. Uh just trying to not not get shot while I'm pouring this beer. Yeah, that guy got fucking screwed. Ugh, can't believe that guy hit me. Um, but yeah, so I got a more head. It's a really nice lacing. It's just a nice looking beer. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this smell. Yeah. Obviously, uh, like I mentioned before, there's a lot of hops going into this, so you get like a big kind of hoppy smell up front, uh, which can mean any number of things. So let's uh, let's dig farther into that. So when I say hoppy in this beer, I mean it, like really citrusy and really piney. So there's like a little bit of orange character, very faint orange character, like. Like almost like orange, uh, like orange zest, maybe like lemony zest, uh, yeah. or lemon peel maybe, and then that big, big pine that you get out of uh, certain IPAs, you know, based on whatever the hop they're using, whether it's puts in piney flavor, or fruity flavor, or whatever. But it's a good mix of fruity and kind of piney, resiny flavors in this one. How did they get the plant already? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and mirror a lot of that. I mean, it's it's a it's a very, very piney citrus. Uh, unlike the ruthless rye that we did from Sierra Nevada, that one was like like a you know, like think, pine fist in your face. Yeah, yeah, that's like it's like just gnawing on. Oh god! A, a oh god! Yeah, there's like 900 guys up there. Fuck that. I'm trying to be a hero and rush in there and save the day, but they're moving to uh, to squad specific, so a little too much for one man to handle. Sorry. I'm trying to find this boy's gun here. I don't know where the hell it went. What are you his, for? Ammo. his ammo. I, uh, I have no main bullets. And... Uh, well, we got to. Uh, oop, there's a one of my favorite guys. Go, go, cut that guy. Here, no. There you go. Go take him right in the mouth. Here, go. Here, just take. You need some ammo. I'll get you some ammo. No, I just tried to run up and I forgot that that guy was a support. You could give me ammo from him. It's all right though. I had a good run. Well, I'm in a good position, but I'm not getting any. Kills. No, it's all right. It's all right. I'm actually gonna go in for a nice, nice big sniff on this one. Do it. Oh, how'd that guy not die? Yeah, yeah. Just a nice, nice pine citrus mix. I mean, it, it, just solid, solid all around. Yeah, it's really, it's a really nice smelling beer. I might venture to say that I would, uh, if I were in Yankee Candle, and looking for a. Uh, a nice aroma to permeate my office. I might, uh, I might, I might buy uh, an IP, a, a 90 minute IPA. Maybe one of the manliest Jeez, get, candles. Get Goomba stomped, bruh. Jeez. Yeah, how'd that guy survive for so long? Good question. I don't know. I tried to knife him. Oh, did you? Yeah, but it like, it, it didn't like, didn't run the animation despite the fact that I was right behind him. Oh, good. I'm glad we're down to like. Uh, yeah, get yeah, you're, Woo. you're too far. You're Woo. too far back in order for me to spawn on you. All right. Well, they're already back at our last two. That's too bad. Yeah, they are. We're gonna, um, we're gonna run down. Yeah. Well, I'm actually. I mean, keep them entertained. I'm actually gonna take a, a, a swig on this one. Please do. I'm. I'm busy. Uh, I'm busy trying to clean up back here. Oh, I died. It's by Sanic the Hegahog. Te Hegahog. What do you got on the taste? That's uh, heavy pine. Oh yeah, um, it's yeah, really very it's heavy more... pine. It's it is it is smooth though. It's it's not. Uh, I don't think it's as aggressive as, as the smell would lead you to believe, but it just. I agree. It, it's, it's balanced. It is. It's pretty well balanced. You definitely get a little. Uh, it definitely gets a little bit aggressive. Yeah. Oh god, I am not Double in a good action. position. I am not in a good position at all. You can spawn on me. I'm in a decent position. No, I'm, I'm not dead. I've gotten, I've got a couple kills. I just need to get out of here. Okay, yeah, this is better. How did they get up to A already? Good God. Um. Uh, it's definitely more pine forward in the flavor oh. than the smell, though. Like the smell, you get a lot more of that orangey, uh, lemony kind of zesty fruitiness. Um, than you do in the taste, like for damn sure. Yeah. It's still there a bit, but not nearly as much. The kind of pine wonderfulness kind of kind of overtakes it all. Like I said, it's there, but oh, jeez, you gonna shoot that guy or what? Jeez. Oh, dude, I don't know how the hell that guy is not dead. He's dead. I got him. Oh god. Oh, did you? There's yeah, a friend. He had a friend. 
you can hear him. Yeah, the, of course the enemies have to charge. Don't worry. I tried to drop down on him. Alright, I'm gonna try to get up there. There's like no one pushing up. Oh, they've got uh Oof. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, they got they got they got our number on this one. Yep. Yeah. So we'll be switching. <laughs> Hiding in the standard uh standard location. Yeah. And a big loss. <laughs> Cause our team so yeah, is yeah, good. it's it's. Uh, I mean, the taste. Yeah, it's it's just a really good one. It, I don't think that it you just get carried, guys. I don't think it it, it packs as much of a taste as, as the the nose would kind of lead you on. But it's. I mean, it, it's just it's it's a solid one. I mean, obviously, Imperial IPA, you're gonna get a lot of that hop. Um, you know, Ninety minutes of continual hop, and you're gonna get that that bitter punch. But it's, it's just balance. I mean, it's it's such a. It comes down to a lot of the time what we talk about with, uh, what was it? I think it was the Golden Drac, our second episode, where I didn't really care for it a whole lot, but we had the appreciation of the ingredients and the craft behind how they brewed it. I mean, I, I at the time, still felt it was a little commercial. I had a couple more after we did that, and I grew a little more. Did uh, you have more? Yeah, I had well, I had that four pack, and, and when we did the recording, oh, yeah. I think that was my my second one. Nice. But I had two more after I shared with another buddy, um, and it was I mean it was solid. Um, I it grew more onto me as I as I drank drank more of it. I don't think that I'd really go out and buy another four pack, but I'd put it this way, I just I I found an appreciation for the ingredients and the art and the just the whole process behind the scene. Um, when it came to brewing that. Oh, I'm super happy about that, because I, I really liked that beer. Yeah, you did. You did. Try to get in this Jeep. Raj, I don't know how far um, you are from it, but it's probably not going to happen. Yeah, I'm not going to get in there. To be no, you're like way over really there. Really couple of these. Um, but yeah, this is a... Uh, what's the... Uh, what do you got on the mouthfeel? We'll, uh, we'll get back to the uh, the standard here. Nice job getting into it when I push to eat. Okay. Yeah, what do you got on the, the here? Let me let me grab the mouthfeel on this. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my 5k sprint down the hill here. Warrior dash. I was gonna say warrior dashing. <laughs> it's, um, this is a very actually, I wouldn't call it a full-bodied beer, but it's um, Jesus Christ, but it's a. I it's, see it, yeah, I tried to tried to shoot the uh, the pilot out, but. No, uh, no dice on that one. You're, you're getting shot. You're getting shot from the Z11. Put some bullets on that pilot. Oh, I don't know how you. I didn't. You. I didn't know it was a Z11 until, right until you said, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty full mouthfeel. Um, not like not stout full, but it's certainly not. Certainly more than medium. It got some nice like uh, coat on your on your uh, on the inside of your mouth when you drink it. It's like almost syrupy. Um, the carbonation definitely helps kind of keep it fresh feeling mm -hmm. um but it's definitely it's definitely thick for an ipa but i mean i guess it is a double ipa or an imperial ipa to yeah it is an imperial so it's a, yeah it's a little ooh, i'm getting I'm, I'm i'm all jelly i got you That's I'm... mid down oh god i see uh oh getting lit getting lit i don't know from where oh I think it's, ah, he got me again. I got a couple of hit markers on the pilot, though. Wow, I just can't lock that guy. Mm -mm. It's a good pilot, man. Yeah, it's a really nice, a really nice beer. Oh boy, is this what you were using? Jesus. What the hell is this? Oh, it's an SVD or uh, SKS with a. God, this site is terrible. Decepticon Izzle just got me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take another swig and get a, get a mouthfeel on this one. Do it up. I don't know how none of those hit, but they didn't. Dude's got a 7x scope. Or no, is this 4x? I can't even tell. I hate these scopes. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm going to go definitely a medium body on this one. Um, yeah, and it's... And, and gosh, oh, that is just... Ugh. I was facing... Like, we were, like, making out. He was, like, not behind me at all. Okay, just got is... knives. Get him. Same guy. Same guy. Uh, he got you still. I figured you could get him with the knife animation. Oh, you did get him. Okay, you got the guy with knife. No, I didn't get anyone. Oh, you didn't? Nope. No oh, kills. Some, someone shot him up. Um, yeah, there's, you know, there's a like I said earlier on, that there's a little bit of carbonation, not a ton. Um, 
you know, pretty pretty well balanced in the carbonation uh, compar comparatively to the, to the to the body, but but bitter. I mean, it, it that's that's what you're going to expect from that Imperial IPA. Very bitter. Yeah, the, the bitterness hangs out. Yeah, and it, yeah, I was going to say, and it, there's a draw to it. Oh, that Z11. Yeah, same guy. No one, no one's he, shooting him he's down. He's working us. Good for him. Good for you, Pete. Good for you. Oh, I just got domed by a JNG. That's uh, it's five bonus points to any member or fan who uh, gets that reference. One of the greatest comedy movies out there. And that Z11 is ripping us. I'm just running around reviving people. I'm not really contributing to this. Don't worry, I'm gonna get shot by a Scar L. God, this map's terrible. One and yeah, two this, this round. This is this, is, this awful. is an awful, awful rush map. So anyway, what's your uh, what do you got on the uh, overall on this one, Northern? Ooh, region? ooh, the overall. Um, you know, it, it's just it's a really really solid IPA. There's really no fault to it. I, to be honest, prefer it over their 60 minute. I do as well. Which is which is their more generic or like I guess I think. Excuse me, I think that, that's their go-to. Yeah, that's their um, that's their man. That's their top seller. Yeah, and I I have not had their 120. Uh, yeah, so I, right. I can't I can't comment on that. But uh, that guy is okay. This isn't gonna go well. I just I saw a gentleman and was trying to trying to get up this hill. There we go. Shot a bush, thinking he was a dude. Um, oh, see, so yeah, I, I haven't had their their 120, so I can't comment on that. But this is just this is a really well balanced, well rounded, strong ingredient, good brew process from a rock solid brewery. Um, and I'm gonna give it a um, a very. Ooh, I missed that guy. And this gentleman right here. Who I just shot. Okay, up. Don't forget Easy. number number score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to rest. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give it a, a an even. Um, this is not even at all. Uh, three and a half. Oh, all right. It's lower than I thought you were gonna go with it. Why three and a half? Mostly because I don't want to give everything a four. <laughs> yeah, we do give a lot of things fours, but yeah. God, like I said, I can't. I can't guys. fault it on any. I don't know where that guy is treating me. I'm gonna res you because I can't see anything. Oh, that guy got firing squatted by us. Yeah. The best thing oh, we'll there's another right guy. Hold the line. Oh, grenade. Yeah, we're getting lit up. Okay, so... Um, Yourself? I, I love this beer. Um, I'm going to give it a... I mean, I, I like IPAs more than you do. Uh, they're more my number one choice versus stouts. Um, and, like, porters and stuff, which I know are your, is your number one call. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to give this a 4.5. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite IPAs, uh, which I said the same thing about uh, the Northern Hemisphere Harvest. Um, we just got A and B planted. Yeah, right? I know. I planted A. Yeah, I'm right, I'm right here with you. Okay, cool. Um, I'm trying to stay like kind of hidden. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's one of my favorite IPAs. I just, I mean, I could drink this. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to knife. Um, I could drink this all the time. Yeah. Okay. Just knew exactly where I was. Great. All right. We're still gonna get the at least A. Yep. Yeah. We lost B. Yeah, we lost B. All right. That's well, anyway. too bad. Yeah, that was yeah so a solid four and a half, you say? So four, this is four and a half for me. Uh, nice. This is one of my favorite beers. It's so smooth and crisp. It's actually very drinkable for a 9%, and for something so hoppy, it's it's it's. I wouldn't say it's sessionable. It's not something you want to be like slamming all day. You're going to be wasted. Because yeah. uh, it's Which very it's so the carbon. The, the carbonation is just going to help that alcohol get into your bloodstream even faster. So if you want to get wasted, it's a great beer to do it on. But uh, it's Hence not, the it's, four pack. Yeah, it's not a cheap beer to do it on. So Nope. It's not going to be like your top. It shouldn't be your top choice for yeah. for uh, drinking to get wasted. I mean, it, it could certainly help, but uh, yeah. So, so this is going to get a solid, solid four and a half for me, yeah. uh, given the uh, mighty beards of gaming seal of approval at uh, Wizard Beard, average four, just perfect. Yeah. Great, great beer. Yep. Artanis is all over this beer. Yeah, no one knows who Artanis is. That's true. He's a mighty wizard. Yeah, he is a mighty wizard. So anyway, guys, Mighty Beards of Gaming, give the uh, Dogfish Head 90-Minute IPA, the strong wizard beard, uh, something that you guys should definitely, definitely go pick up. Absolutely, yeah. I'm going to mirror that statement. So uh, you want to get the social media stuff out of the way, Northern Beard? <laughs> I know, right? 
Uh, go ahead and like, comment. No, seriously. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share it with your friends. Post it on on uh, on Twitter. Tweet this. Uh, if you're on Pinterest, make a pin with sure. a bottle of beer. Uh, we're not on Pinterest. Well, as mm-hmm. as a as a channel, we yeah. personally use Pinterest because we're straight. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we just celebrated our just over a month old uh, birthday, so we're we're getting there. Um, one of our videos broke a hundred views. We're so we're so proud of it. Man. Our first episode. But yeah, um, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Uh, let us know what you want to see us drink. Um, and if you've had this, let us know what you think. And we always like to hear what our fans think of the beers. Uh, we got some feedback on the chicory style, which was nice. So. Uh, give us a shout. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you next week for another episode of... Oh, I just got ass valved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see you or... next week for another episode of Beardle Field, guys. <laughs> <laughs> or ass valved, you decide. Yeah. See you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>